This is really good bourbon, though. Yeah, it is. Frey, it's got, it's got Frey a, Ranch. Got a little. Uh, you can taste the rye in there. Yeah. Is it rye? Well, no, it's not a rye, but it's a, it has a rye content. It's really good. So, yeah. so it's only it's only three thirty here, and I'm not a bourbon guy. So. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's, a little, yeah. it's a little early for you to be drinking on a work day. Yeah, I'm, I'm here in the office boozing in this. <laughs> yeah. Myself, so I, mean, I know these guys drink booze, you know, on the live stream. Live stream, I got to be keeping up with you. <laughs> and, that, and that is a great intro. Welcome back to Backcountry BSA. <laughs> um, we're coming at you live again. We have a really fun episode for you today. Yes. Um, someone who I think. At the very least, it's going to have some really cool stories. Plus, we always love talking to vendors and cottage manufacturers and, and people in the industry. So, And our, this is our first executive we've had on the show. Yeah. Like it's legitimate kind of, executive. It's kind of intimidating. It's very intimidating. <laughs> um, so we've got Eric Christensen, CEO of Nutrient. It's Nutrient, right? It, well, I always call it Nutrient Food, but it's Nutrient, right? It's Nutrient. Uh, nutrient survival is kind of the name mm -hmm. we go by these days. Okay, that's the uh, okay. But isn't there like um, because isn't there like a nutrient survival and nutrient? Are they two separate yeah. things? Yeah, it's uh, it, it is a little complicated. We like to keep it that way, confuse okay. people. Um, so the the parent company is Nutrient Foods, and there's a couple of um, ideas off of Nutrient Foods. And nutrient survival is is the one that I lead. Gotcha. Okay. So oh, that's, okay. That's, that's the fun one. Yeah, okay. that's the you fun know, one. We're, we're attacking. You know the survival market, emergency okay. food market, backpacking market, yeah. all that good stuff. Yeah. What what um what does the other branch do? Ooh, wow! I'm getting into like secret squirrel stuff. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You don't have yeah, to. Yeah. Well, we we've got a yeah, our our founder is he he's you know well he, if he's listening he's brilliant um, and he's just a great guy and he's got an awesome vision for what this company is and, and is about. And, you know, at its core, we'll get into this, but it's about nutrient right, right. density yeah. and the stuff that nutrients can do to make you do amazing things with your, you know, your body, um, right. protect you and keep you healthy and heal your body. And anyway, all these cool things, you know, performance standpoint. Um, and so that idea, uh, has, has application for every day. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's kind of that nutrient foods and where it sort of started. So eat your cereal every day. Right. And yeah. Feel, you know, in, in, and then there's an idea that was around attacking the survival market for right. you know, people that want to have that in the future. And then there's another piece of it that is uh, about the brain and, you know, brain health, brain care. Gotcha. So there's some really cool ideas that are brewing and it's all part of the same family. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. So I want to talk a little bit about your background because you have a very cool, at least a very interesting background. So will you give us like the, give us some five minutes on, on who you are, where you came from and how you got yeah. to be where, where you are right now? Ooh, well, I'm an old guy. I don't know. You don't look old. You, I, I, uh, yeah, you look like a great, you're in great it's shape. All it's all the nutrients. It's the nutrient yeah, foods. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, you know, so my story is, uh, it's a short one. I'll keep it short. But, you know, I grew up out in Washington State and um, moved out there when I was like nine or 10 and didn't realize at the time, but it had the Olympic Mountains in my backyard and just kind of grew That's up awesome. with those things out there. And, you know, what we did for fun before our iPhones and YouTube and all this stuff is, you know, you go out in the mountains and grab a 12 pack of Strohs and build a bonfire and have fun. Right. That was yeah. Yeah. Kind of cool. yeah. so it's a little different. Anyways, uh, Strohs. Strohs, yeah, remember that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a beer. I've right? heard of it. Yeah, <laughs> that's a beer. Yeah. And don't tell my mom and dad that I was like this innocent choir boy kid. Although the one time my mom found uh, some Bartles and James in my closet because wine coolers were making their debut. Yeah. And uh, and you know, remember Bartles and James guys? You guys probably don't, but thank you for your support, those guys. I've, no. he I've heard of no. Stro. <laughs> you, you had me with Stro, and then you lost me at Bartles and James. I used to work at a grocery store, up. and we'd see the Stros there. It was, it was huge. It was, it was like the original wine cooler. There was, there was Bartles and James and Seagrams, and you know. Anyway, now it's uh, what is it? The sparkling. Like, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like hard seltzer. Seltzer. hard seltzer now. Hard seltzer. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. before that, it was like wine coolers. Yeah. And, you know, the, the ladies liked it. So you'd end up getting some of that from time to time. But, um, yeah, it was fun. Grew up out there and loved the outdoors, loved hanging out, um, up and down the, the, the Olympics out there, Olympic mountains and the cascades. And so beautiful area to grow up and just really fell in love with, with nature. And, 
you know, I did okay in school and I wrestled and played football and all that stuff. And, and I was lucky to get an appointment to West Point, that's which is awesome. in New yeah. York city. That's yeah. awesome. And that's the Miller military Academy. Right. And it's been around since 1802, I think. Wow. Yeah. 1802. And, uh, yeah. And so I, you know, I, I, I thought about, do I do the Navy? Do I do the air force Navy? You know, I don't swim very well, so that wasn't going to work out And air force. Um, you know, they, you got to see, you have to have good eyes. And I didn't have that. And, uh, so I figured I'd do the army and, you know, tell guys to march up mountains and get shot at. <laughs> so, so I did that. I went to West Point, I graduated in 91. And then my first duty assignment, I went to Panama. Um, and I, that was another brilliant decision-making process there. It was, all right. Uh, I hear there's warm beaches, uh, sandy beaches. I hear there's cheap beer and I hear there's beautiful women. So sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> I got a paycheck. Now. Uh, was so that what it was? It, it was total. That was my total decision making process. <laughs> no sense at all. And this was a couple of years after Noriega. Just okay. Cause, yeah. You know, we, uh, we had some fun down there and uh, I went down there and I, I met my wife there. Oh, and, nice. Uh, so, so I found the warm beaches. I found the, you know, the, the cheap beer and the hot women. <laughs> So she was my, uh, my cutie patootie. She's Panamanian or was, is, uh, and she's naturalized citizen now. Oh, nice. You know, after, after 9-11, she said, you know, I want to, I want to, I feel like an American, but I'm not an American and I want to be a part of this thing. So she became naturalized after 9-11 and, uh, she's, she's been here with me for 27, 28 oh, nice. years, something, something like that now. Very cool. Yeah. So I did, I did the army thing for like seven years. Panama was my first assignment up and down the Hungla, the jungle, Selva, whatever you want to call it. And that was cool. And then came back stateside did some time in Oklahoma and Texas area. And then up to uh, Fort Campbell, Kentucky with the 101st airborne for a bit, did ranger school, airborne school, air assault school, Wow, uh, all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was smart, you know, getting away. So I, when I signed up in the army, I said, I'm going to be an artilleryman because artillerymen, you know, why, why, why walk when you can ride? Right. And you had trucks and yeah. things yeah. like, and of course, when I get in, I get assigned to an infantry unit and now I'm walking in with, <laughs> with a big rucksack. That was the big joke. The artillery guys carried around the big radios and that was always extra, extra duty, extra heavy. So, but I did that and then I got out of the service in, I don't know what it was, 97 or 94, something like that. No, it was probably 90. No, it was 97. I, and I went to work for Procter & Gamble in Cincinnati, like we were talking uh -huh. about. So I worked for Procter for five years and got into food and food marketing and general management and had a blast there. Great, great time. Great people. Uh, you know, I thought I uh, had, had my firstborn and we moved back out to Washington to get closer to family and yeah. learned real quickly that I, I, I loved food marketing. And so I came back to the East Coast and was at Campbell Soup for about a dozen years and leading all kinds of different businesses and brands on the Campbell Soup business. Great, great, just a great company, great, great brands, you know, led everything. And I was uh, my best or my biggest assignment there was as the vice president of U.S. Soup for the, you know, for the all the soup portfolio. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. I, I so own I Campbell one, stock. I own Campbell stock as well. Oh, so, so yeah, I do. Yeah. That was a pandemic a, buy. I was like, people are going to yeah, buy a soup. <laughs> Well, you know, before the pandemic, there was this recession that we had. It was probably 2007 or eight, somewhere in there. And Campbell Soup was the only stock out of all the stocks in the in the stock market that actually rose that day. Oh wow! Oh, wow! Yeah. If you remember that, yeah. So I did that for about a dozen years. I lived in Jersey, South Jersey, Philly area, Eagles, all that stuff. Uh, great sports fans, by the way, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, they're the guys that threw snowballs at Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then, that's and then true. the chicken guys down in Purdue. Purdue's a big brand. Oh yeah, a big yeah. chicken brand. Yeah. So I, I went down there. Was the chief marketing officer for Purdue, and oh had, wow, had, had good stuff going on there. Was there about six years, and then, and then this thing came rolling around, and you know I'd never done a startup before. It was yeah. always big companies, yeah. and this was kind of right up my alley. You know, survival food and nutrition and you know, it was cool. So I said, hell yeah, let's do this thing. So kick this door down, see what happens and try to make the best of it and get to talk to guys like you. <laughs> so, so, so I'm out here in Reno now, Reno, Nevada. Yeah. Reno yeah, is, um, yeah. we always actually talk a lot about Reno cause so like before our sister lived there, what do you, what do you know about Reno, Nevada? If you're not, not around, you're like, uh, it's like Vegas's little 
brother. It's just got casinos. Yeah. And then... A little trashy, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I didn't know. We were just Wait, going this, straight this to ripping on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but that that's, no, just, but it, that's the stereotype. So we went out... I went out there uh, a year and a half ago after our sister was there, and I never realized, you know, you're flying into the Reno airport. First off, first off, I flew in, and I didn't realize this. I flew in the same weekend as Burning Man. Oh, and, yeah. and I was like, I was like, there's a lot of weirdly dressed people on the flight coming out here. <laughs> and my sister's like, oh, those are the burners. I'm like, oh my God, it's Burning Man. But I never realized, I mean, you land like Reno is, has done a really good job of branding itself as an outdoors town because it is, you don't realize Reno is, is right next to Lake Tahoe. You've got the, uh, the Sierra. Sierra Nevadas out there. And we, I did some backpacking out there when I, and it's a really like, and there's really good fly fishing. Um, and it's a really outdoorsy town. It does, it gets kind of a bad rap. Like you don't think of Reno as like this, like outdoor Mecca, but it kind of is. I don't know. I was, that's not the reputation it has. No. I, I, I think you're right. Yeah. It's, it's like the burning man inroads oh. and Harrah's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't know. It was, uh. Well, your I, sister lives here, right? And Andy's coming out to see. Yeah, yeah. Andy will be yeah, out there. I'll and I, I, there. I, I creeped on where the nutrient, at least where one of your buildings yeah, is. Yeah, we know where It's you right are. on the Truckee River. And I was like, oh, that's There's beautiful. There's only one. That's us. Come, yeah. come down. I, you know, of course, I won't be here, probably. What, uh, so was it, was it, was it, for, first off, <clears throat> I'm really hoping this is like on in the break rooms at Nutrient <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, shout out to Becky. Yeah. Shout, yeah. We got a shout out to Becky. Um, yeah. She's been really cool to us. Yeah, and she knows been, she knows yeah. the way to our hearts by sending us some bourbon. So yeah. we really appreciate and that. And she's been hooking us up. And you all have been hooking us um, up with food. And it's, we've been enjoying how, it. How, uh, like, yeah. was it crazy coming from a massive company to effectively a startup? I mean, what was that like? Yeah, well, it, it was great. Well, Becky, first off, she is amazing. She's, you know, she's uh, she's got just, she's the energizer bunny, you know, and she lives it. Uh, she, she, she's just into this stuff. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm just thrilled. She's kindled such a great relationship with you guys. Oh yeah. She's, she's awesome. She's done. Yeah. She's awesome. She, she knows what is the key to everybody's heart, by the way. Well, <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And some Christmas cookies or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> she did send us cookies. Now, Thank now you she's that. doing a great job for us. And you know, you guys are a big part of, uh, people that we think, um, you know, are important for what we are trying to do and what we're trying to build. So we, we appreciate all the love you give us back. But I mean, coming from a big company to a little company is number one, it's awesome because there's no BS, no yeah. bureaucracy that you yeah. really have to have to uh, work through. And I mean, I guess it's because maybe I'm in charge that things are just uh, that much easier. <laughs> yeah, right, right. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, what do you mean there's bureaucracy? This is so easy. Let's yeah, just yeah, yeah. So there's that perspective, but beyond that, you know, definitely we, we are uh, a lean group and, and, you know, you see an opportunity and you, you try to chase it and do it and, and do it the right way, do it a smart way, it's consistent with what the brand's about, what we're trying to build and, uh, and let smart people, you know, contribute in, in ways that only they, you know, know how and can do. And, you know, you keep your, you keep your investor group happy, yeah. which is mm-hmm. important for you know, for us. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm fortunate that, uh, that our, our founder is really committed to this idea and loves this idea. And, uh, anyway, it's, it's been awesome. Um, and we've got smart people, committed people, you know, that are really excited about what we do and are on board with our, with our mission, uh, to flip the way people think about food on its head. Yeah. And that's actually, that's, the, that's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. And one thing that Andy and I really appreciate about it is you guys are like backpacking food in general, it's generally just carbs and sugar. It, it's not like the most healthy thing. Yeah. I mean, it gets the job done. But one thing that we really appreciate is that you guys actually enrich your food. Um, and I think so. Most people don't know this about me, but I actually was a PhD student in nutritional biochemistry for several years, and I left. Wow. So I I studied uh, vitamin E metabolism, and I have like a actually have like a, a like nutrients are good and like most people don't get enough of them. So some, and especially when like when you're out there day after day after day and you're breaking down and you're breaking down and most people are just kind of malnourished, especially when it comes to micronutrients too. So yeah. one thing I, I, that we really appreciate is like, I'm eating a cookie, but a, but like, it's actually basically like a multivitamin. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
I, and, and that is something that I think is underserved in this market of whatever you want to call it, survival foods, backpacking foods. Yeah, and like you always like you always see like through hikers doing like the AT and the PCT, they're always taking multivitamins, like big big packets of multivitamins with them, specifically so they're not <clears throat> nutrient deficient. Yeah, and it's uh, yeah. it's it kind of a no brainer. I don't know why, like. I don't know why people didn't think to do this in the past. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's like, you don't want to yeah. be eating crap day after day after day. And that's right. where like, we really like what you guys are doing. And it, it, it does make a difference. It really does. Sure. Especially like, you know, day after day after day, when you're just breaking down, if you're mm -hmm. not getting what you need, you will, you will notice right. it. And right. most people aren't used to getting it. So they won't realize it, but it's like, Oh, like I feel really good today. Like, Oh yeah. 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 yeah, maybe. Well, we want to we want to sponsor a challenge like that, exactly like you're describing, because it's one of those things where you don't, unless you're really attentive, you don't feel it or see it kind of every day. Yeah, you know, it's like when you see your 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 kids, right? You, if you see them every day, they're always the same. But if you don't see them for a month and they show up and it's like, wow, you know, you grew an inch, you know, or your hair's longer, or whatever it is, right? Or you're you're cuter than you were before, but with um, with makeup, you know, it's kind of this instant thing. You, here's your here's your face, and now you put makeup on, and you see the difference. Um, food's a little bit different, right? It just takes a little bit more yeah. time to you know lose the weight or feel more active. You know, coffee maybe that's a little, a little bit more of a stimulant. Yeah. You know, but so that's one of the things we want to we want to do. We want you know you, that when you bring up like how can we maybe dramatize this and show people what it's like to live on our food versus live on other people's food yeah. for a period of time. And we, we hear, I heard from a guy the other day that we're doing something with was talking about, he's up hiking, putting out all kinds of energy and, and eating food, eating backpacking food. And, and he comes back and he's just got this voracious appetite. He just wants to eat and, and get his body kind of back. And it's because he's been kind of, like you said, mal malnourished or maybe starved from yeah. some of the nutrients, the things that your body wants. And I went through ranger school and that was, um, that was a, a tough experience, but you're really tired and you're really hungry and you're cold and, and you eat one MRE a day. And you know, that was kind of the deal. Oh, and, gosh. uh, yeah. And you're moving all the time. I mean, yeah. there's no downtime. Um, yeah. You know, you're, you're, you're literally walking zombies and and you you feel it. I had some buddies. I remember, I'll never forget one of these one of these uh, one of my guys. He uh, he hit himself and he got a bruise, and it would not heal. Yeah, it actually started to, you know, just balloon, and it was because his body was just beaten up and and run down, and he wasn't putting the right stuff inside it. You know, because the nutrients, like you said, it has such an important part of repairing and healing and yeah. giving you what you need. That's uh, I was going to ask you for some like crazy ranger schools because like we go out like oh we hike like our toughest day we probably hiked like 25 miles yeah and that was and that, and i feel like that's just nothing compared to what you must have gone through training to be a ranger like it had to have been like hardcore right it was pretty tough i'd say it was, it's probably the one of the things i'm most proud of yeah doing, you know is getting through ranger school and you know they they definitely they they turn you into a stronger person. I went in at about 190. I came out at probably 150. This was, this was back. This was back in the day, and I think they're, you know, you, you always, you, you always believe that they that they've gotten over now. Right. right? The new yeah, guys going through right. ranger school, like it was nothing like when I went back. Yeah. <laughs> but but I lost a lot of weight, for sure. And I've honestly, I've never. I've never kind of put it back on. Um, you, you, you bounce back, you balloon back real quickly, but then you kind of, you know, get back to more of your fighting weight. So it, it fun, it, it physically, physiologically changed my body spending that time at ranger school. And I've never had problems keeping weight off or, you know, I, I, I drink a lot of great IPA beers, heavy beers and eat whatever I want. And I don't know. I, I think it's just cause I went through that stupid school and, you know, just physically changed me. How, um, how long is it? How long is ranger school? <clears throat> well, it depends on, on how, how much of a screw up you are. Oh, no. uh, so how yeah. much of a screw up were so, you? <laughs> I was, I was not, I went straight through. So yeah. I, I actually, they gave me a special like ranger knife, like a Johnny Rambo knife that was probably 10 inches long and totally illegal in 40, 49 <laughs> to 50 states probably. 
<laughs> and they carved my name on it and said, you know, you got the leadership award. Congratulations. Oh, nice. Which yeah, was, cool. Which was pretty cool. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool and everything. But it's um, when I went through, this was, it was uh, four phases. And I know we want to talk about food, but four phases. And, and uh, you start out in Georgia, down at uh, Fort Benning, Georgia, which okay. is the home of the infantry and ranger school and all that. There's actually a ranger battalion down there. And then, uh, and then you go to the um, desert out in El Paso. We flew in and oh. jumped into the desert, and it was you know it's all foot operation, right? Mm-hmm. There's none of this trucks and Humvees yeah. and that. And then you go back to 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 Georgia to Dahlonega, Georgia, which is North Georgia, Appalachian Trail area. Oh, okay, okay. And you learn mountaineering, rock climbing, all kinds of stuff like that. And then uh, then you finish up in the swamps down in Florida. Uh, McDill Air Force Base, Eglin, actually Eglin Air Force Base. McDill, I think, is in Miami, but Eglin Air Force Base. And um, and so those are the four phases. Now I think they've, they've cut out the desert phase, and it's just three phases. But when I went through, it was about 70 days straight. Oh, wow. Wow. And and if you screw up in a particular phase, it's one of these things like Monopoly, where you know if you, if you get to a certain spot and you hit the wrong uh, square, you go back to zero. Well, if you don't make it through a particular phase, you get recycled. They call it recycle. Okay. And you go back to you start back at the beginning of that last phase. So some oh, guys God. theoretically could spend 140 days at Ranger School if they get recycled at every single phase. Right. Oh God. And, you, and that you're, would suck. And you're eating one MRE a day for 70 days. Uh, yeah. So what's the deal with like that? I feel like you need more food than calories. That. You you know I, I it's part of the deal and and the thing is it, you know for most people. Uh, an MRE theoretically is like 3,500 calories, is what okay. they say, and it's engineered, nutrient dense stuff that yeah, plugs you yeah. up. You guys probably know that. Yeah. You know that's designed into the product, the cheese. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, hey man, I'll trade you my my peanut butter for your cheese. <laughs> 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 you know, you figure out all the special dishes and all that. But um, yeah, it's uh, and the thing is, you're always moving too, and yeah. that's what causes you to lose the weight. There, there's no downtime. You know, literally maybe three, three hours, four hours, if you're lucky. Um, some nights you, you don't get any sleep at all. Just constant, you know, road march. Do you, uh, uh, do you look down on people that use the heater bags for the MREs? <laughs> well, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> just wasting I mean, time at that on. point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those are, those are pretty fun though. I mean, to throw some water in them and see them blow up. Those are, that's fun. I mean, don't, don't. Don't let them uh, have any steam release, right? And see how long it takes for it to blow up. That's pretty funny. I forgot about that. They have like the little like heating packs. Yeah, and was, I mean, we were we were never in the military, but uh, we've both eaten our we've eaten MREs. Yeah, and, and the joke is like, oh, you never use the the heater because right. it's, it's just you just don't. No, it's, it, no, you, yeah, it's exactly. You just can't do that. You not, just mix not everything together and eat it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, right. That sounded very hardcore. Even seventy it, days, I mean, a yeah, nonstop. Pretty that's pretty it was ridiculous. Fun, it was fun, and and you know, the army, it's a big part of the deal. You know, it's like uh, you wear your resume on your your chest yeah. type of thing. Yeah. So people check you out, like, oh, you're a ranger. Okay, good. Yeah, you know, I'll give you some props. I'll give you some respect. Yeah, that's uh, a yeah, that is yeah, very yeah. respectful. Absolutely, um, very much so. Um, so, did you um, like? Are you are you do you backpack at all currently? Uh, loosely. Okay. Loosely. So, you know, my younger, my younger days, a lot more, um, you know, you, you have kids, your life changes a little yeah. bit. So you got to slow down a little bit. You get married, your life changes a little bit. You know, you've got two beautiful wives and, uh, each of you has one, but together you have two. <laughs> correct. Right. right. Correct. 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 We're not. Yes. <clears throat> correct. You know, and so you kind of, you know, you got to make sure you get give and take a little bit. I'm sure you don't take them on every single. No. D- uh, do, you, do you get your wife out backpacking? Well, she came out one time, and um, and then I pulled a Dutch oven on her yeah. oh, God. inside the tent, and she was like, "That's it. I'm not doing this ever again. I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm out of this." But uh, yeah, so she she enjoys it, but not. She's not a throw a rucksack on a let's go yeah. hike up that mountain type of person. But she likes the outdoors. Um, because you got access. Like, have you? Um, how long have you been in in the Reno area? Probably hasn't been that long. Just. Little, little, yeah, I mean, it's probably been six months, seven have, have months. Have you gotten a chance to explore the what Lake Tahoe and that area has to offer? Yeah. Well, loosely, 
I'd say, uh, or casually probably I've, I've been up to Mount Rose, been to the top of Mount okay. Rose. That was one of the things I did, um, just to do it. Right. Yeah. And, and, um, I think it's a 8,000, 8,000 foot base. And then it's about 10, seven up to the top and there's a nice little trail people are doing. It's a pretty popular little, little trail. So I did that and been up to Tahoe a few times, um, you know, and, and with the family too, but, but some of the hikes, uh, were just day hikes on my own. Yeah. So, but it's awesome. I love it out here. You know, you got yeah. the, you, know, you got skiing right next door, oh, yeah. snowboarding four or five times already going, going on Saturday again. Oh, so, so they're already open and going. I guess it's December. Oh, yeah. It's December. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. We yeah, were, they've uh, done a really good job. We, uh, Andy and I, we were, ri- we were a skiing family growing up yeah. like hardcore. Um, and we didn't, I actually, we've never skied in the Lake Tahoe area. Mm-hmm. We were Colorado. We were a Colorado family every year, but now that our sister's out there, I mean, they go, they go like every weekend and their kids are going to be such good skiers. Yes, they are. Oh, they don't have to try. Like we <laughs> yeah. were going out to some hill in Ohio growing up. These kids don't know how lucky they have <laughs> which, it. Which, which hill would that be? Yeah, it was, it was literally like our ski resort, our, our ski resort in Ohio. It's a 500 foot vertical. Oh, no, it's 300 oh. feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a joke. I thought it was 500. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's not like 2,000, which they have no, out there. No, no. Um, so, all right, let's get back to food. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, okay. First, first question related to food. How, like, how do you guys come up with your ideas for like the types of recipes that you're making? Good question. Because you have, you offer some very interesting food combinations right now, like, like rice and beans, different types of cereals and that type of thing. The cereal, first off, I had this, I had uh, the chocolate grain. I I posted about this on Instagram too. Yeah. And I, and I I mixed it with instant coffee and it was so good. (laughs) Sorry. I mean, that's it was like a idea. coffee, chocolate, like cereal mix. <laughs> you only and mixed that, it with coffee because that's all you had left in your mug. But it, I know I was, I, I, chocolate and coffee, those flavors go well that. together. Yeah. It's um, like Starbucks. Yeah. It's mocha. And I just it's mixed like it a, in there and the, the caffeine hits you with all the nutrients <laughs> and then you're just ready to go. Um, okay. So anyway, yeah. What's, what's product development like over there? Ooh, well, we, we have, we have some pretty cool, pretty smart people. And I think, what, you know, we try to. We try to stay in tune with what people are eating, right. what they want. And, you know, we have a lot more to go. We're, we're a brand new company. Um, I, entrees, the entrees that we have, there's there's three that I, I call entree. Even the Homestyle Scramble, which yeah. you, know, you guys like that one. That one's yep, good. I just ate that in the Smokies. Yeah. It was delicious. Yeah. It's 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 probably my favorite go-to. Yeah. Um, and, it's, you know, it's real food. Real ingredients, potatoes, cheese, eggs, um, peppers, you know, mix that stuff up. Yeah. Put our, put our nutrients in there and, and then we, um, and then we freeze dry it, you know, and take the water out of it and make it long lasting, um, so that it, uh, it can stay around for a long time and be light and easy to carry and easy to reconstitute and use and all that. But <clears throat> so I think, you know, the, there's, there's a, the, the entrees are doing really, really well. And, you know, people are looking for that center of plate meal, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, but whether it's entrees or the cereal, every single serving has the same magic formula of this complete nutrient density, um, every essential nutrient that your body needs, you know, up to the levels that you need it. And so that's a great thing, whether it's the cereal or the oatmeal or the, or the triple cheese Mac or whatever it happens to be, um, you know, you're getting that, you know, in every single serving. And that's, that's kind of the secret sauce of the whole deal. But what we like to do is see what's popular. You know, yeah. it's, uh, it's not, it's not rocket science. We, you know, we look at what's moving and what people are buying yeah. and we're like, hey, let's, let's do a version of chili Mac next. And are what about lasagna? Are you guys, are those in, in play? Well, I might've slipped. Yes, they, they, <laughs> they are. Um, the entrees are doing really, really well. You know, yeah. they're, they're a nice part of the, the line and, and people really like those. So we want to make more of those and, the, I'll tell you, the lasagna is just lights out. It's just totally killer and uh, delicious, right? And you, and you can't even taste any any of the, the, call it the good stuff in it. Right? Right. It just tastes like lasagna. Yeah. Um, the chili mac is close. Uh, probably another another crack at that one. But our, our culinary staff, um, R&D staff, uh, works really hard at making those things taste delicious because that's that's an important part of our idea. People don't know, don't know freeze-dried food. And this isn't something that you find on a grocery store. Right, shop, right, right. right. Yeah. So it's a little bit of an education and, you know, getting people used to it. You got your cup of noodles out there, 
yeah. you know, on the grocery store shelf. Right. But, uh, that's near easy max, but yeah. that's, that's about it. Right. Um, do you guys, do you manufacture in Reno too? All a hundred percent. We're nice. end to end. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. 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 So we keep, you know, locals employed and, <laughs> and they do a really good job. They're passionate about what they do and the high quality that, that we have here at the, at the plant. It's a big plant. You guys, you know, again, come on out. I know you. Oh, we will. Google, yeah. Google yeah. He'll, he'll be there in a couple of weeks. Uh, I'm going to be going into that test kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I was, gonna, so I was going to ask you, yeah. uh, do you guys, <laughs> so in your, in your R and D process, like, do you have uh, RDs, food scientists? Like, how are you, how are you calculating like what nutrients need to be in yeah, that food? Do you just that's have a like, scientific process? Uh, like I picture it as like, it you know, like, you know, like your formula of like nutrients and then you're just, you're just adding that recipe to yeah how does so how does that work when you're actually going to enrich the food like i'm assuming that's some some sort of a scientific process where you figure out like okay what how are we going to get this stuff how are we going to sneak this stuff in there right 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 it is i mean that's why it's taken us 10 years and way before i came or came around but uh 10 years of uh, r&d and we're actually in the process of um getting the patent for it oh it's a pretty pretty special you know thing like you said how come nobody's done this before so we're like, yeah, how come nobody's done this before? We should patent this. <clears throat> so we're going to patent it, or we are in the process of patenting it. And, uh, y- y- you know, it's, it's about the, the the best of both, you know. So it's real ingredients. That's the most important yeah. thing, right? It's food. It's real food. And that's what everybody in, in, in the rest of the industry is doing, Mountain House and Ready Wise and all the other guys are making freeze-dried food. But what they're not giving you is the nutrients. And nutrients are hard to make taste good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's what our, our, you know, our process is about how to, how to mask that and how to, you know, deliver the deliciousness of the, of the food that people want without tasting the multivitamin in it. Yeah. Yeah. These, so. ju- these jabronis over at mountain house, just throwing food on there. I mean, you, you can definitely like, uh, like you can, de- in, in certain of the food items, you can definitely taste the nutrients. Yeah. You can definitely taste it. Um, mm-hmm. but, uh, it's not, it's not what I thought it would be. It's, 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 yeah. um, and like the homestyle scramble and, or is that, that's what it's called, right? The homestyle scramble. And then the, the, the triple cheese mag, no, the triple cheese. Oh, mag you can't, great. that just tastes like really good food. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, right. It doesn't taste well, I was going to ask you guys what you love about them you now. Cause I know you're, you're fans of them and yeah. you've got some favorite, favorite varieties. I mean, but, uh, I, like you said, the, it's the, the, the flavors are, I mean, it, it's the, cookie, a, the cookies are really good. Yeah. It's, it's satisfying. It's, it's filling. Um, and it's it's packed with flavor. I uh, I I mean I legitimately so like the last five to six years like I've taken a more proactive approach because here here's the deal, unless you're a person who eats incredibly well and incredibly diverse, you are most certainly lacking in some sort of micronutrient. You know, people that live at our latitude, that's almost assuredly vitamin D. I mean, unless you're paying attention to what you're eating, you're not going to get everything you need. So like the last five or six years. I've gotten like, I'm not like a huge vitamin guy, but like I do supplement with certain things. So do I. Yeah. Uh, based on what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, and to see that mm-hmm. get into into food that has been lacking in that is like mm-hmm. basically the, a huge deal for us. And you do, you feel better. Yeah. And I think, and, and you know, I think some of the like uh, the criticism that I've seen online for for your foods is that you can taste the nutrients, like you can taste the nutrients in it. But like that's to... That's to be expected. Not in everything. Yeah. Not in everything. I, I like that's to be expected. Like, of course, you're going to taste it. At least you know it's in there. Slack, right? Yeah, <laughs> At yeah. Least you know it's in there. Yeah, yeah. And, right. and I also like. I just notice it. Um, like I, I've I've talked about this. Like just when you're doing when you're hiking for twelve hours a day, day after day after day, like you will start to notice your recovery will diminish. Like in the in the morning, you won't feel as good. And if you're not yeah. supplementing, I mean. Before I had nutrient food, I, I literally have a package of uh, multivitamins and like a bunch of different things I take. And now it's kind of nice. I don't, I mean, I, I've also like been eating nutrient food around the house now. <laughs> Thank you. No, I mean like. We slam some cookies. I, sl- I mean, yeah. the cookies are really good. And, and I was like eating those good. cookies, but they're like, they're really dead. Like they're, they're dead. like meal. They're labeled as yeah. like meal cookies. Cause like you can eat them and it's a whole meal. But I was like throwing them back as if they're like right. Keebler cookies. <laughs> I like, probably shouldn't do that. Be, be, be careful. <laughs> I know. I was, like, I was like, these are really dense. I probably shouldn't actually be doing that. Uh, but I just, I notice, I just feel better when I'm, I'm more, and maybe there's a placebo effect there. I don't know. But definitely when, I, when I'm when i covering my bases, 
um, I, I feel better and it, it just makes the act of backpacking easier. I don't know when you're more, wouldn't you agree with that? Sure. Absolutely. I, I, I mean, I take, I take, uh, different supplements every day and when we backpack, I don't need to take them. What's your, what's your favorite nutrient flavor of type of food? Well, oh, it's the, it's the breakfast. Yeah. 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 The, the mac and cheese is really good. The mac and cheese is great. I had both of them in the Smokies. So. Yeah. Um, so you kind of, you kind of already let it slip on now, some, let me, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Do, do, do you, uh, do you notice any differences? I mean, you, you, you said you maybe feel different, but does it take your body any, any time to adjust to eating that food versus no. other food? No, no, uh, no. I mean, <clears throat> no, I don't think so. I mean, it's just like, it's, it's probably more of a mindset and a mental thing. You're, you're used to eating like uh, <clears throat> really really dense like uh mountain houses or something like that and um i think i i think you just have to get over the mental mindset of that like, yeah i i've never i mean i've i've never but i, I, I but just I, feel better yeah i mean yeah i, I don't think it was that big of it like i didn't think it i mean obviously if you're going from like eating like ramen and Nice <sighs> sides and crap like that. And that's what that's what the majority of people hiking and backpacking eat. Isn't that insane? Yeah. It's insane to me. That you're yeah. literally you're gonna hike for fifteen hours and then you're gonna eat some instant potatoes and some ramen. <laughs> I mean, literally, that's what people do. And like and they wonder like after five days of this, like, man, yeah. I just you know, what, what's going what's on here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I get I get the through hiking thing and the on the budget thing, but the weekend warriors, which is ninety nine percent of the backpacking community. They're yeah, spending, they're spending top dollar on meals. They're spending yeah, top dollar yeah. on meals and um, mm-hmm. it's not, it's not an issue. That's interesting you say that. I mean, that, that's, that's a, that's a space that is, uh, you know, I, th- I think weekend warrior is a good way to put it mm-hmm. because I don't know if they're the hardcore, you know, I think of you guys as you, you know what you're talking about, right? You're smart about what you take out on the trail. You portion it all out the day before you got your little Ziploc baggies of here's what I'm eating this day, this day that you got it all planned out versus, you know, the guy's going into REI and, and paying 10 bucks for, um, you know, two, one and a half, two servings of a, you know, of a, of a mountain house or something right. like that, where it's like, okay, yep, you can go play backpacking for a weekend, but you know, what's it going to, what's it going to do for you? Right. Yeah. But I mean, people, people don't like, I would say most of the community for, for the, they, we saw some stats a long time ago. That's like, the the average backpacking backpackers like the weekend warriors like us they're getting out probably on average 3 to 4 trips a year maybe i believe that maybe I, yeah and those 3 to 4 trips like they're preparing and they're not afraid to drop coin on on high exactly. quality stuff yeah so yeah. yeah yeah it's so funny when when i was in call it uh grocery store food like right? campus <laughs> soup company and and in this space, at Procter and Gamble's <laughs> nice. on the Jeff Peanut Butter business. That was my first brand, Jeff Peanut Butter. Talk about an awesome brand. Yeah, right? I remember oh, going yeah. down to Lexington, Kentucky, and literally like putting my mouth under the under the, <laughs> no uh, the, the peanut way. butter. And I was like, man, this is mother's milk. This is so good. <laughs> it, nothing like like just liquid, liquefied peanut butter. Oh, you can imagine how awesome. awesome that is. That's in Lexington. It was like Willy Wonka, you know, with the yeah. chocolate rivers. <laughs> Who's this we guy had... putting his head under the, the <laughs> peanut butter thing? <laughs> yeah, it was in Lexington a long time ago. And it still is, I think. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, so w- but one, w- it's funny you say that, you know, three or four times a year because when you're at a, at a big food company, uh, you're talking to consumers like, hey, what do you like about this product? And you think this could fit into your life? And like, this would be great. I love this idea. Mm-hmm. This is perfect for, we, I take this backpacking every time I go. You're like, okay, this is a horrible idea. We need to kill this idea right now because there's no volume here, right? Mm-hmm. It's just it's just not that big of a behavior, yeah. right? Uh, for the general population. And even like you said, weekend warrior, um, you know, out, outdoorsers uh, on average, what, four times a year, you said? So, yeah, I like three to four probably. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, what's that worth, right? So, anyway. Yeah. It's just an interesting, um, you know, way to think about how yeah. to come up with winners in the space. Right, right, and, and, and you know, and there's competition, and and a lot of people spend a lot of time preparing for their backpacking trips. And when we've talked to like other 
manu- like other vendors and manufacturers of backpacking gear of like high end um, custom gear. Um, they rely on they rely on the weekend warriors starting to you know planning their three to four day trip yeah. very far out and they're swapping their gear out and buying the newest and greatest things right, and so right. um, they love them right they love them yeah, exactly yeah um, so one one little thing I, cause, so this made me think when you're talking about cottage vendors so a lot of people um, in the backpacking space during COVID like gear manufacturers took a little bit of a hit because just people weren't going out on trips anymore or anything mm-hmm. like that. But I feel like the food backpacking, well, have, survival have guys, food have, went have probably through the roof. Have you guys seen like a, uh, like a, has that been uh, like, has there been an uptick in sales because of COVID for survival well, we, types of food? No, no doubt about it. I mean, we, really? we could always, we could always use more. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, when the first, first run kind of hit, right. The first, pandemic, uh, COVID concern, everything, you know, the food, food supply was completely disrupted. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, president Trump is ordering, you know, defense act type things, essential workers, you know, again, it came from the chicken industry and ordered those guys back. Yeah. It's very high, high labor intensive environment. And you're, you're next to somebody six inches away from you. You're Mm -hmm. basically cutting chickens up all day Yeah, and God bless them. It's hard work. Yeah. So, but, uh, but you know, this, this food, this emergency food area, um, a huge run on it because number one, most of it's sold, a lot of it's sold direct to consumer. Mm-hmm. So order it on the website shows up at your door. So you're able to fulfill that. And then, you know, people were thinking about it as a, you know, it's kind of a rainy day type thing. Yeah. Right? Just my, my wife, I remember we were in Maryland and she got the call from a friend at the Pentagon said, Trump's going to shut the country down in, in at noon. And she's like, all right, get in the car. We're going to BJ's. Went to BJ's. And, and her version of survival food was cases of soup and yeah. peanut butter and flour and, you know, 50-pound bags of rice and stuff like that. So, and once that stuff was completely gone, then what did people go to? They, they went to, you know, where can I get food online? Yeah. yeah. And so there was definitely a, a run. And, and, you know, we're still seeing, we're still seeing, um, you know, some of that, I think, yeah, most people have gotten back into stock and the masks have helped people, you know, relax a little bit, you yeah. can still move around and, but you never know. And, and we want to help people be prepared for those, those situations. Um, but like you said, you know, we've got different applications for the world that you guys live in. It's not a, uh, you know, apocalypse right, uh, right, situation, right, 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 zombies right. walking out. Right. But but it's good food and it's versatile and it's it's light. It's easy to easy to use, easy to reconstitute. It's perfect for the trail. Yeah, it's, you know, it's perfect. And when uh, when all this started happening, I was one of those people. I was like, we need some cans of freeze dried food. Remember, in this basement. remember we were wow. in. My, remember we were in my basement and we were we were like, what what morons are we like not not having enough. Stuff yeah, because like as backpackers, we naturally have some sort of survival gear with us, but we didn't have food. And that's kind of important. Yeah. And so we're like, God, yeah. I was, and, and you couldn't buy it anywhere. Right. Yeah. I mean, right. It was, and even like right. we were even trying to buy just freeze dried components of meals, like freeze dried right. beef, freeze dried like vegetables. And even that was all sold out. Yeah. And I was like, wow, we're not getting, we're not getting caught again like this. No, we did a bunch <laughs> of dehydrating. We know now. where it's at. Yeah. It's at Reno. Yeah. We're going that's there. Right. Yeah. That's, that's, it. that's it. Exactly. Back your pickup truck up to the, to the, you know, loading dock. Um, square your way. So you, you, you kind of touched on it earlier with some of the entrees, but is there anything you can talk about? Like anything that's coming up with nutrient that you're really excited about or any, is yeah. there any, like anything, anything like yeah. that? Yeah. Well, you guys have probably seen this already. I think Becky may have, may have uh, sent you some of this stuff already, but we have this product called um, immunity boost and revive therapy. And we think it's, we think it's, it's pretty cool. I actually, here's these little, we do these little sticks They're called like, okay. 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 We haven't gotten those. Like, we, uh, Becky, okay. Becky, we have not gotten those. Really? <laughs> Oh man. Becky's hooked us up with every <laughs> Becky's giving us so much stuff. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> no, 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 we're just no, joking. No, we're joking. No, but but um but this is a really cool idea. It's called immune boost, and then we have another one called revive therapy mm-hmm. that is all about um you know naturally taking care of um you know flu like symptoms, if you will. Oh nice. Because peop- immunity is a big thing on people's yeah. minds. Yeah, right absolutely. Now. How do you stay safe and 
And we, we like to talk about it as uh, not just talk about it, but there's a lot of science behind it that nutrients boost your immunity. For yeah. sure. You know, things like zinc and vitamin A and D and, and magnesium and manganese and selenium and all the, all these things. And then we add some special stuff like quercetin, which is for, you know, inflammation and a lot of other cool things. So there's all this stuff's packed in these, these packs. So that's, that's one thing that we're pretty excited about. Um, and that's kind of a daily thing, like a emergency. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah. But way better. Right. Yeah. Way, way, way better. And then the revive therapy is more about um, if you if you feel like you're coming down with something, um, kind of like was it Borin? Is that is that the name of it? The uh, homeopathic stuff. I'm not sure. Anyway, well, yeah. If you, if your if your kids are coming down with sniffles, you take a swab and you you know. Wipe oh, the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. oh, okay. And and yeah. I'm and I'm definitely on the train, and I'm saying this as I sit here and drink bourbon. <laughs> But I'm definitely bourbon, on the, bourbon. It's good for you. Yeah, I'm definitely on the train of like, especially, you know, in the pandemic right now. You know, we're talking about wearing masks. We're talking about social distancing, which is all good and great. But there's not enough conversation about taking care of your your personal yeah, health and um, wellness. And yeah, there really isn't. And and like, that's a good thing you bring up. Yeah. Cause nobody, yeah. And, and like, we're, you know, we're, we are not COVID deniers. Like, even though we're, I mean, we're in each other's bubbles, Yeah, <laughs> but like there's, you know, there's all talk about masking and social distancing, like Andy says, but there, there hasn't been enough talk about, you know, just keeping your immune system up because yeah. like, we don't, we don't have, I mean, the so, vaccines come in, but we don't have a treatment for this. Like your own oh, immune yeah. system is yeah. all you got. Yep. And, and you, get in line because, you know, we're going to do equitable distribution of the vaccine. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. we're last. I know. I will, we'll be mean? last. I don't know. I don't know. We're not getting it for a while. I mean, I'm going to be can, stuck can, in my basement forever. <laughs> yeah. Can I pay to get ahead in the line? Or I know. You know, is I there, know. You know. No, but anyway, it'll be interesting. You're yeah. Right. You know. So that's that's a big deal. The immunity, you know, boosting, um, natural ability of of not and not just this food or not just this drink, rather this immunity boost thing. But, but all of our stuff, and we, we, we like to talk about it that way. It's one of the first things that um, we're, um, you know, we uh, pound our chest about is immune boosting, mm -hmm. um, you know, outcome, health outcome by, by, by giving your body the nutrients it needs to just yeah. take care of yourself. Yeah. Put this suit of armor on, right? You should, uh, you should infuse some booze with some nutrients. Yeah, can we get some nutrient uh, drink mixes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It take a double as a hangover preventer, maybe. I don't know. Total, totally. Think about it. Think about it, right? What do you do, right? You drink a little too much, make sure you pop that multivitamin before yeah. you go to sleep. Yeah, that is a no, it, it's funny, like during this whole like pandemic, I've been I've been much more like regimented about like vitamin D. Like I've been popping vitamin D pills. I have too. Um, but I had the, I had some of those nutrient cookies today. I like, don't need to take my vitamin D pills today. You're, you're, you're good. You're I know, good. That, I know. It's got everything you need. Um, no, it's a, uh, it's, it's very cool. And like, it's just, it's, it's cool to see a company taking nutrition, like the next step, I think. And like, I don't know, yeah. I think that's a, uh, that's yeah. admirable. Yeah. Um, and I'm, yeah. I'm hoping that more people kind of catch on to it, especially people yep. that are out there beating their bodies down and, like and, every day. And how, I mean, how is the business doing? Is it, is it growing? Is it, I mean, are you, are, is it doing well? Is it on a good track? Like, yeah, we're, we're, we're growing. It's, it's good. We're a startup. You know, we launched yeah. in July and I uh, just started, you know, doing what startups do, trying to figure out where you go and, and how you do things. But we, we, we have a really good product and that's where every great brand, great business I've ever been associated with. It starts with, you know, a great product that does something for you. And so what we, you know, we, what we promise is that, you know, it's not just about living to eat. It's about eating to live. Right. And that if you have our stuff, you know, you can you can unleash your body's kind of natural ability to do what it was put on this earth to do. And that's protect you and, and keep you safe and, and, and heal naturally and help you perform better. So we think it's a pretty, you know, pretty cool, pretty unique little thing that um, we're excited about and is very different than what's in the marketplace today. And yeah, we've got, uh, we've got a lot of opportunity to win. Yeah. What, uh, what is, what's like your most popular food item you sell? Oh, well, it's the home style. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's not surprising. It's the delicious. Style scramble. Yeah. It's, it's really our, good. It's our runaway winner. Yeah. It's yeah. good. I like it. Well, and, and you guys were a big part of Copa. Yeah. 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 
Cocoa yeah. Crisp. yeah, it's like yeah, Cocoa it's like Crispies. Cocoa Crispies. Oh, it's, it's like eating a there. salad for oh, breakfast. That's what we say. We're like, it's like eating a salad. This is basically a salad. Yeah. Also, I also like that there's a good amount of protein in your foods too. Um, I, you know, totally. we've been talking about like micronutrients specifically, but I, I do think the macronutrient aspect is well balanced too, as versus yeah. literally some of these mountain houses are like a hundred grams of carbs. You know, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not. You yeah. need that protein out there when you're like breaking it down day after day after day. I don't know. We don't talk about that, but that's mm-hmm. a, I don't, that, that's good too. So yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. We're we like, we like what you guys are doing. Um, Thanks. and it's a, uh, it's good. We are, we're always trying to harp like good nutrition as we sit here and drink bourbon, but that's, that's part of it. You gotta, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got to take the good with the bad people. A, this is a very excellent bourbon, by the way. Yeah. yeah. I'd never so heard that, of this. That's a, that's a local, one, yeah. Right? Local. Yeah. Fa- Fallon, Nevada. So is that close to Reno? Yeah. What's it called? Frey Ranch. Frey Ranch. Um, I, I really love that, uh, Becky. We, we're calling this the nutrient bourbon right now. It's the um, nutrient store pick. It's the nutrient store pick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is really good. Frey Ranch. Uh, I'd never heard of it. It's a Nevada distillery. Yeah. It's delicious. It's, go. it's really good. Um, very good. Store. So I told Becky, I said, just put a sticker on there for me, really. That was my contribution. That oh, was- nice. <laughs> no, it's good. It's these, the, these guys it's- love bourbon. <laughs> it's um, the nutrients. We'll make- it's a, if you go back and we haven't been paying attention to the comments, there's a, there's uh, at the beginning, there are many comments about Stroh's. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then some people are talking about Frey Ranch. Um, you know, we, we haven't nice. been really paying attention, yeah, but, uh, yeah. um, this has been really fun, man. Thank you. Uh, yeah. thank yeah. you so much for talking to was us. There, was there anything right. that you want? Like, yeah. Is there anything else? I mean, anything was we didn't there get anything to that you, you want to that you wanted to cover that we didn't, we missed out on or should have, should have talked about? No, I mean, I, I think you guys are awesome. And I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, having me here and letting us tell a little bit of our story, my story. And, you know, we're real people. We, we want to make a difference in this world. And yep. and uh, we're really excited about the mission that we're on and, and and excited that you're, you know, advocates and evangelists with us. And, and we appreciate that very, very much. So thanks for your partnership. And and uh, anytime we can help you, we do anything crazy, special, make the Shill, Shill Brothers uh, outdoor <laughs> uh, successful. Give, give me a call, give right. Becky a call, and, and we'll make it happen, all right? All right. Hey, Eric, uh, yeah. thank you so much for talking to us, man. I really yeah. appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thanks for spending this time with us. Andy will come drop in when he's out in Reno. Yeah. 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 <laughs> do that. Do that. All I'll right. Uh, all right. See you guys. All right. Hey, see, Eric, everybody, yeah. uh, check out Nutrient Survival. You know, yes. we, we love supporting companies like this. Made in America. Yes. They're doing good things for your body. Boost your immune system. Please uh, feel better the, on their the trail. Their food tastes good. Please check them out. Yes. Um, there'll be links down in the descriptions. Sir, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you very much. All right. All right, all right. man. We'll, all we'll right. rock on. Be safe. All yeah, right. Thanks. We'll see you guys later. All right. Bye, everybody.